Hey everybody, so last night I saw The Good Liar, directed by Bill Condon. This movie stars Ian McKellen and Helen Mirren. This is a thriller that's for the olds. It's a decent movie, but I find the story a bit lacking. I think Mirren and McKellen are good respectively. Uh, they're both good in this movie, like I said. They have some decent on-screen chemistry together. Uh, but what doesn't work so well about them in this movie falls down to the story's faults. Now, with a thriller, it is important to make sure that you keep your audience invested and that the story stays compelling and misleading. However, a lot of the loose threads that are placed in this movie are opened and not answered, and it's pretty clear what is going to happen, though it's not exactly painted out for you. I knew what was going to happen in this movie. I knew what the end result was going to be the first time I saw the trailer. I knew part A. I knew part Z. Everything else in between, I didn't know. But I was able to piece it together throughout the movie. Now, it did keep me in my toes for a good bit. I will give it that. Um, where was I? Uh, you know that Mirren's character is going to double-cross McKellen's at some point, like I said. That's clear. But her motivations for it completely change the entire tone of the movie. And that's what keeps you on your toes. That's what keeps you guessing. That's what I didn't know what was going to happen. There is an ominous tone throughout this entire movie, but it's not completely foreboding. You can tell something is afoot, but honestly, most of this could have been rated PG-13, and there would not have been a difference. But, like I said, at three points in this film, everything gets spun on its head. McKellen kills one man, which honestly seems very out of place and out of character for him, considering this is the only shown case of him doing something like this on that level in the main part of the story. Even in the flashbacks, though it is shown that he does do something terrible, it's not shown him doing absolutely, completely horrible things to other people. But alas, the entire rest of the movie does not carry near the same tone as the killing scene and the two flashbacks, which really, I think, is a detriment to the rest of the movie. Either you have it all on one level where you're just showing stuff like that consistently, or you find a different way to resolve your story. Now, I would have just changed it so that you still have all that stuff in it. You just make the entire tone of the rest of the movie better. But you really can't do that. I understand why. But let's move on past that. I think the script is fine. Though I do not think it uses its hard R rating to its full extent. Uh, as for the directing, I liked it. Uh, it doesn't do anything uh, in anything spectacular. Oh my god, I can't speak tonight. Anything spectacular. But the shot compositions are far from bland. Some of the quote-unquote action can be left at home due to its editing, but it makes sense considering the age of the actors that are involved. The film overall looks good, though I think some of it was underlit, and the CGI recreation of World War II Berlin was surprisingly good considering the CGI used and the kind of movie that it's in. It could have looked far cheaper, but it didn't. In the end, I really don't know what else to say about this movie. It's a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be going into it based off my thoughts for the first trailer. It is still predictable as hell. And even if you have seen the trailer, like I said, you basically know what's going to happen. But the way they get there keeps it intriguing. Keeps you involved, keeps you interested. I was very surprised at the end when they showed uh, the reason for everything that's been going on. It that did, that did get me, that did surprise me. But your grandma... Your grandma's going to love this movie. She's really, really going to like this movie. It's a grandma movie. It's an old person movie. That's exactly what it is. I don't think it really tries to shy away from that. 6.2 out of 10.